Hello, my name is Naftali, Naftali Ida. I manage the application engineering team here for the Polyjet technology at Stratasys. Today, I'm really excited to introduce to you our new Agilus full color family of materials. Here we're taking our existing Agilus black, white and clear materials and we're adding cyan, magenta and yellow to them to enable us to print these fantastic full color flexible models. So I'm going to show you four different examples of models today. Here I've got a model that's printed in Shaw A30. Also going to be showing you how to achieve exactly the same appearance but with a Shaw A50 model and even taking it up to a Shaw A95. In addition to this, we have a new capability where I can assign a hollow support core to my model and that is going to give me a truly flexible uh, uh, model even below Shaw A30. Finally, we also have the ability to print the Agilus colors in a transparent uh, material without having a uh, uh, inclusion of white that is gonna make the part opaque. So let's see how it's done. First, we need to understand what can affect the model's flexibility. For a model like this, we have an outer layer of the color material and an inner layer that defaults at the Agilus white Shaw A30. However, with the addition of the Vero materials, Vero white or Vero clear, we can affect the hardness of the part. So a different ratio mix of my Agilus white at the core with one of the Vero materials will give me the range between Shaw A30 to Shaw A95. Let's take a look at the structure of a 3D printed model. First off, I've got a one millimeter outer coating of my Agilus CMY color materials. Below that, I've got four millimeters of Agilus white, and that is gonna provide a good solid opaque base for my transparent colors to really help them pop, shine, and be vibrant. And the inner core is going to be where I can have a mix of anywhere between Agilus 30 on its own to Agilus 30 plus my Vero hardener material, and that is gonna enable me to achieve my range of Shaw A flexibilities, all the way from 30 up to Shaw A95. Let's take a look at how to achieve this model. This model is Agilus 30 all the way through. And in order to achieve this, you need to have your materials cabinet configured with Agilus cyan magenta yellow, black white, and also Vero white and clear. For this model, I'm only using the Agilus materials, but that's the printer configuration that we're going to have set up. In GrabCAD, you go, you import this part, and that's it. The default is going to be applying Agilus 30 to this part throughout. With the same configuration of my printer, I can now make a duplicate of this part, and I can change the Shaw value using the Shaw slider. So I can choose Shaw A60, or even go up to a Shaw A95. And what's that going to do is it's going to add my Vero material in different ratios. So some will be applied to my Shaw A60 and even more will be assigned to the core for the Shaw A95 part. We can also achieve fantastic transparent parts. But in order to do this, we're going to need to change our printer configuration slightly. At the moment, we're set up with Agilus 30 cyan magenta yellow, white and black. And I've got my two Vero materials, white and clear. Now I can change out my white material for my Vero white material for Agilus Clear, and that is going to leave me with my full color capabilities and also still enable me to choose and change my flexibility. Or I can take out my Agilus 30 black material and replace that with my Agilus 30 clear. That is potentially going to slightly impact some of the darker colors, but I will still be able to achieve a range of full colors and still have two options for my core material or printing other rigid prototypes on the same tray. So let's take a look at what happens. I'm going to, in this case, replace my Vero white with the Agilus 30 clear. And on the shore slider, I can adjust the values here. So the default is going to be with a clear core and that is going to be Agilus 30 clear or we can move the shore slider to say 60 
or 95 again, and that is going to give a different mix of my Agilus 30 clear with my Vero clear materials, leaving me with this transparent capable effect. For the fourth example we're going to look at today is where you want to achieve extra flexibility or you need to overcome some model deformations due to the printing process. Here you have the option of assigning a support core to the interior of your model and this is applied with a special structure mixing support and the Agilus material on the inside of your part. And that enables you to achieve some super squishy flexible models like this. Finally, a word on part thickness and how it affects the flexibility of a model. Let's go back and remember what we discussed earlier about the structure of a part. If I've got a model that is less than six millimeters thick, there's not going to be enough meat inside my model to assign this mix ratio of the Vero hardener material and my Agilus 30 material to achieve a sure hardness level beyond sure A30. So, Models below six millimeters are basically gonna be Shore A30 and any thickness above that, that's where you're gonna to start to see the change that you apply. To summarize, Agilus Colors offers you the ability to achieve models like never before. We've got full color, full flexibility, textured models, sharp details, fine prints, all on one tray on one platform. Thank you for watching this video. We look forward to having you join us next time.